topic that Bishop started on Sunday, commanding divine favor. This is part three. Yesterday, she was online and she did part two. She began on Sunday about commanding divine favor in life. She did part one on Sunday. She did part two yesterday online. And today, I want to talk about commanding divine favor, subtitle, hindrances of favor in your life. Subtitle, hindrances of favor in your life. Hindrances of favor in your life. Zile vitu ambazo zinazuianga kibali cha bwana kikutembele kikufanyie kazi kiwe juu ya maisha yako. And maybe I can do a recap for the sake of those who are not here on Sunday and those who are not able to watch yesterday. What is favor? Favor is the power that makes you likable before God and before men. Favor is that power, Sami. Ambayo inafanyanga watu wakupende tu bure. You become likable reverend. People like you for no reason. They don't know you. They don't know about you. Sometimes they have never even met you. Sometimes they know you. They even have your history. Praise the name of God. They know your weaknesses. They know that you come from a background that looks like this and like that. But Karis, these people just like you because the favor of God is upon you. Favor is that power that makes you likable. Tell your neighbor from today, you will be likable. Watu atakupenda bure because the favor of God is upon your life. Praise the name of God. When you find that people keep avoiding you, people keep running away from you, people don't like to be associated with you, People like to put you away from their plans, from their projects. People do not invite you when they are doing things. They always separate themselves from you. They alienate themselves from you. They distance themselves from you. Then that is a deep sign that you are suffering rejection and favor is absent in your life. Praise the name of God. Number two, what is favor? Favor is the power that adds flavor and taste your life. Favor is the power that adds flavor and taste into your life. Favor is that power that makes your life to be sweet. Praise the name of God. Inafanya maisha yako yawe na lather, yawe na utamu, yawe ni maisha ya kufurahia. Praise the name of God. There is nothing as bad in this life as being gifted, being talented, being born again, being a man or a woman of prayer, being with everything, but you lack favor. That is the time that you discover you are beautiful, you are well created, you look wonderful, you are knowledgeable, you have your certificates, you are gifted, but nobody is appreciating what you are doing. In short, life does not have taste. You keep asking yourself, why me? Why is my life always like this? Why am I always bitter? Why is my life always hard? Why can't I enjoy life for once? When you look at your life, the last time you ever got happy, yani ukafurahia, bwana asifiwe. You are so happy, you are so delighted, you are so fulfilled, you are so joyful. The last time you ever experienced that, ni kitambo sana. Wangapi wanaweza sema hivyo? Mimi mara ya mwisho nilifurahia, yani Nikajipata tu, I am happy. I am very satisfied. I am content. I am enjoying my life. Many of us here will say, Mimi sifurayangi maisha. How many can say that? Your life is always, you know, it is one battle after another battle. It is one setback after another setback. It is one shame after another shame. Ukimaliza hii vita ingine imeamka. Ukiondokea hii vita ingine imeamka. Ulikuwa hauna kazi. Wakati ulipata kazi, ugonjwa ikatokea. So the money you are getting is now heading over to hospital to pay for hospital bills. Once the hospital is sorted, then something in your life breaks. And then now the money you get, you have to repair this thing that has broken in your life. It is a sign that favor is absent. Praise the name of God. Favor is the power that adds flavor. It adds taste. It makes your life spicy. Tell your neighbor spicy. Ukiongeza spice kwa chakula, that food smells good 
it tastes good, it is appealing. Bwana sifiwe. But food that is without spice, no matter how healthy it is, it cannot be enjoyed. In fact, you bite kidogo kidogo, the rest you pour. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. May God give you favor today. May God overshadow you with favor today. May God baptize you with favor today. Going out and coming in. This year 2023, the favor of God will work in your life, will work in your business, will work in your career. In the name of Jesus. What is favor number three? Favor is the usher and the protocol that brings you before your destiny help us. Praise the name of God. Favor is the usher. It is the protocol that brings you before your destiny help us. You know the work of an usher. The work of an usher is to receive you and then to guide you. To show you where to sit or to direct you concerning how things are working. Praise the name of God. So when you enter through that door today, an usher met you. An usher welcomed you, shook your hand. An usher asked for your name. Praise the name of God. An usher directed you to the seat and told you, Karibu kwa ibada ya leo. Praise the name of God. Now favor is that usher. It becomes the protocol that goes before you. It introduces you to people. You don't have to struggle to introduce yourself. People will come and look for you and say, I would like to know you more. I'd like to connect with you. Excuse me, can I know your name? Excuse me, can I talk with you? Excuse me, can I get your number? It is a sign that favor has introduced you. Am I talking to somebody? And I'm praying from today. The same favor that operates with Bishop Dr. Jane. That introduces her even in places where she is not known. That favor will go before you. That favor will become your protocol. That favor will become your usher. That favor will speak for you. That favor will introduce you before your destiny help us. You only need one person. Tell your neighbor one person. Just one to change your life. One person is enough, reverend, to turn you from small to great. One person, one, 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 like this, one. The current president we have in Kenya, William Samoy Ruto, met Moy. He met the former president, the late Daniel Moy. When he met that man, immediately his political life changed. That man mentored him into becoming president today. One man, one man. You don't need so many things. You need one man. And for you to meet that one man, you need something called favor. Praise the name of God. When favor becomes the usher, when it becomes the protocol, when you apply for jobs, your CV is selected. Praise the name of God. When you go for interviews, if you are a hundred of you, you are the one who is handpicked to be chosen for the job. Praise the name of God. When they are giving out loans, they are giving out bursaries, they are giving out financing, you become one of the beneficiaries. Why? Not because you are overqualified. Not because you are better than the rest. Because favor went ahead of you. It called out your name. It introduced you. It declared you worthy to partake of that thing. I decree and declare. May the favor of God go before you. May the favor of God introduce you. May the favor of God declare Declare you to receive that miracle, to receive that blessing, to receive that door, to receive that document in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. What is favor? Number four, favor is the power that replaces emptiness. Favor is the power that replaces emptiness. Tell your neighbor emptiness. Anytime you are going through a spirit of emptiness, you are empty financially, you are empty career-wise, you are empty idea-wise, you are empty in your family, you are empty in your ministry, you are empty in your prayer life, you don't even know what to pray for. It is a sign that favor is absent. Am I talking to somebody? When the spirit of favor locates you, when the spirit of favor envelops you, when the spirit of favor overshadows and incubates you, the first thing that happens is things begin entering your life. Hallelujah. The cure to emptiness is favor. Exodus chapter 3, verse number 21 to 22. The Bible says, And I will give these people favor 
in the sight of the Egyptians that when you go, you shall not go empty handed. This was the time when Moses had been sent to the land of Egypt because the children of Israel had been in captivity for 430 years. Walikuwa watumwa. They were there doing hard labor. They were in bondage. They were covenant people, but they were in bondage. And then God said, I have heard the cry of these people. I have sent Moses, my prophet, to go and to deliver them from captivity. And one of the things that is going to happen, as this people are living captivity, they will not go empty handed. You have gone through a captivity for a long time. You have been in debt for a long time. You have been a hawker for a long time. You have been jobless for a long time. You have been working for that boss who does not recognize you for a long time. You have been in that situation of nothingness and emptiness for a long time. But when the favor of God locates you, it comes and breaks the spirit of emptiness. Verse 21 says, Every one of you shall ask of the women to give you their articles of silver, articles of gold, and their clothing, and you shall take them and put them on your sons and your daughters. Thereby you shall plunder the Egyptians. The Egyptians, they were hard handed people. I don't know kama umawifanya kazi na mtu mkono gumu, reverend. Mtu mkono mgumu. Yani, this person can't give you anything, Pastor Susan. Ni, ni gati. Wangapi wamesha ikutaa na gati. Huyu mtu aezi, aezi kufanyia kitu. That is how the Egyptians were. Walikuwa watu mkono mgumu. But when favor came upon the children of Israel, on the day of Exodus, when you go to Exodus chapter number 12, verse 30 to 36, you will see the prophecy being fulfilled that after the Passover, the angel killed all the firstborn male Egyptians. At that time, they received favor. They took the silver, the gold, the clothing, the things of value from the Egyptians and they left with goods. I decree and declare before the end of April, before the end of 2023, your emptiness will be replaced. Your emptiness will be terminated. Your emptiness will be removed. Your emptiness will be uprooted. Your emptiness will be cancelled. Your emptiness will be eliminated in the name of Jesus. Mimi nimekata kumaliza hii mwaka bila kitu. Mimi nimekata kumaliza huu mwezi bila kitu. Nimekata kumaliza hii wiki bila kitu. Praise the name of God. I want you to say I refuse to finish empty. Praise the name of God. There is nothing as bad reverend as waking up in the morning, going to work, kuenda kutafuta unga na kurudi nyumbani bila kitu. Working for a whole month, January 1 to January 30th, April 1 to April 30th, and you show nothing. Your account reads negative. In fact, you are in debt. Praise the name of God. There is nothing as bad as that. But when favor comes upon you, it breaks the spirit of emptiness. Praise the name of God. I'm praying for you today. Whatever you have been desiring to have, Whatever you have been crying to God to have. Whatever you have been praying to God to have. Whatever you have been telling God, I need this, I need that. I need money, I need business. I need jobs, I need destiny helpers. I need opportunities. When the favor of God locates you, those things will come to you easily. Those things will locate you quickly. Those things will enter your life speedily. Those things will overshadow you in Jesus' mighty name. What is favor? We are in number four or five. Number five, favor is the power that brings you into your inheritance and possession. Favor is the power that brings you to your inheritance, to your possession. Tell your neighbor you have an inheritance. Wewe ukona urithi, buwana yesu asifiwe. Kuna urithi wa aina flani ambao mungu wa mekuekea. Your parents probably left you nothing. Pengine kwenu kuna makesi za shamba. Mnavurutiana. Na zile shamba ziko na mambo ya uchawi na uganga. And as you inherit those family things, you begin to inherit curses, to inherit sickness, to inherit destruction. Praise the name of God. Our bishop tells us, afadhali kubarikiwa kuliko kugawa. Kafakora adhimo gokera kugaya. 
Bwana asifiwe. So some of these inheritances we are running after, they are curses. And the more you are pushing after that inheritance, the more you are attracting demonic ancestral power in your life. Praise the name of God. Kuna maali inafikanga, unainua mikono unasema, I love my people. I love their property. But because I know where I am going, let me surrender it to my siblings. And you walk out. And as you walk out, you go with the favor of God. And God empowers you to buy that land. God empowers you to buy houses. God empowers you to buy vehicles. Instead of fighting for ancestral things, you go out and God empowers you to buy new property that is clean and new. All that is possible when the spirit of favor is upon you. I pray for you today. This year 2023, you shall not miss your inheritance. You shall not miss your possession. You shall not miss your inheritance. Whatever God has purposed is yours. That land, that house, that inheritance, that property, locate it now. Receive it now. Locate it now. Receive it now. Take it now. In the name of Jesus. Psalms 44 verse 3. Psalms 44 verse number 3. The Bible says, For they did not gain possession of the land by their own arm, by their own strength, or by their own wisdom. But it was the hand of the Lord, the arm of the Lord, and his strength, and the countenance of his face. For the Lord showed them favor. Praise the name of God. The children of Israel possessed the land because of favor. It was not because they were good with the sword. It was not because they were so educated. It was not because they knew so many people, but because the favor of God was upon them. Can I tell you something? When favor locates you, when favor enters your life, today you may have nothing. Tomorrow you may meet a deal. Praise the name of God. One deal carries one. Somebody walks in your shop and tells you, I want us to do business. I am putting a million on the table. You do business, and within a week, you are a millionaire, and your destiny changes. Somebody walks in your life and tells you, I want you to become a salesperson. I want you to sell land for me. Praise the name of God. And you go and you sell land, and you eat commissions. And automatically, you who was a beggar, you become a millionaire. Praise the name of God. There is a man, I won't mention his name, but he is selling lands in this, our blessed nation, Kenya. That man was a matatu, alikuwa conductor. When I makanga, conductor. Alikuwa beba beba kwa mlango. But when the favor of God entered his life, he got a divine idea. Yakuza shamba. And he began small, small. Today, he is swimming in millions, tens of millions, hundreds of millions. If he tells you he was Makanga Beba Beba, you will say it is a lie. One thing, one breakthrough can change your life. I'm praying for you today. In the mighty name of Jesus, may the favor of God align you to your inheritance, to your possession, to your blessings. Whatever is called by your name, may favor take you there. May favor take you there. May favor take you there. In the name of Jesus, may that favor work for you. If you listen to the story of Bishop Doctor, she will tell you, her studying is in theology, and recently she got her doctorate. But most of her things, has just kwa masomo. Ni kukua katika harakati ya maisha, na kujua siri za binguni, na kujua siri moja ya zile zivitu zinasuzaidia mtu, is the secret of favor. And when she attaches to favor, she goes to Gikomba with nothing. She walks in Gikomba. Anaingia Gikomba anapata mtu amefungua bell. Praise the name of God. Anaenda kwa ule mtu bila pesa anamwambia, "Excuse me. Unaweza nipatia bell moja? Niende nayo unikopeshe. Niende niuze. Nikiuza nitakuja nikulipe pesa yako na niongezee faida juu." This person does not know you. He or she is not your relative. You are not born in the same house. You don't have anything together. Na huyu mtu anachukua bell anakupatia. Praise the Lord. Say favor. Kuna vitu utapewa because you are favored. 
you will not even need to struggle. Bwana asifiwe. And Bishop took that bell and she went na kaanika ile bell chini and within a few days she sold that bell na akamaliza. She took money, paid the owner of the bell na akaachwa na faida yake. She took another bell akapewa sasa mbili. She went within a few days sold the entire bells somebody who was living in a house of 2000 alikuwa ameshindwa kulipa it was impossible to pay she had not paid rent for 3 months rent of 2000 for 3 months was 6000 alienda akachukua nyumba ya 1700 she paid deposit she paid rent and she furnished that house that is how favor works favor does not look at how qualified you are bwana asifiwe I hope this message is bringing hope to somebody. Najua kuna mtu amekaa hivi chini anajiuliza, now where do I start? Now what do I do? Who do I turn to? Turn to favor. Praise the name of God. Geukia kibali cha Bwana when you turn to favor, that is the time things begin to open up. Favor is what makes people just to call you, to partner with you and to work in your life. Number 7, number 6 or 7. Number 6. Favor is the power that ends seasons of mourning and tears in your life. Favor is the power that ends seasons of mourning and tears in your life. Tell your neighbor mourning and tears. When you are without favor, you will always cry every day. You will find that even in your prayers, you are praying prayers of tears. Sijui kama ushajipata ukiomba hiyo maombi. Umepiga magoti unaambia Mungu why me? God, why am I going through this? God, tears have become food in my life. Your prayers are prayers of tears. Unalianga uchungu kila siku. How many have been there? Me I have been there. There are days when I would just go on my knees and instead of praying I start crying. I cry and cry and cry and say amen. And the situation does not change. In fact, it becomes worse. Praise the name of God. But when favor enters your life, it ends the season of tears and introduces a season of joy. Praise the name of God. Psalms chapter number 30, verse number 5. The Bible says, For his anger is for a moment, but his favor is for a lifetime. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Praise the name of God. He says his anger is but for a moment. Ambia jirani, hiyo vita, hiyo uchungu, hayo mabaya, hayo makali, ambayo unapitia, ni ya mdamfupi tu. Lakini kibali chabwana, ni chamilele na milele. Praise the name of God. There is no battle that is permanent. He says his anger is for a moment, but his favor is for a lifetime. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. I pray for you. The favor of God is going to overshadow you. Your tears will be turned into laughter. Your pain will be turned into joy. Your test will be turned into a testimony. I decree and declare this year, this month, this day of April, that your tears are coming to an end. Every tears you have been crying in secret, asking God, why me, why me? Every morning, every pain, today by the favor of God, that pain comes to an end. That pain comes to an end. That pain comes to an end. And I declare the favor of God brings joy, brings celebration, brings happiness, brings laughter. You shall stand here and cry tears of joy, tears of thanksgiving, tears of laughter, tears of celebration. You shall declare the Lord Almighty has done me well. May that be your portion. Give me favor in the name of Jesus. Tell God, give me favor. In one minute, let that prayer come from your heart. Give me favor, O oh God. Give me favor today. I desire to operate in favor. I desire to flow in favor. I desire 
to move in favor. I desire to walk in favor. Let my face be covered with favor. Let my body be covered with favor. Let my name be covered with favor. Let my business be covered with favor. Let my request be covered with favor. Let my going out be covered with favor. Let my coming in be covered with favor. Everything I do, everything I say, everywhere I go, the favor of God will give me answers, will give me victory, will end my struggle, will end my battles. In Jesus' mighty name, we do pray. Number seven, I believe. Number seven. Favor, and I want you to get this one. Favor is the power that takes you out of the place of rejection and brings you to the place of greatness. Hallelujah. Favor is the power that takes you out of the place of rejection. The place of being forgotten. The place where nobody remembers you and brings you in the place of greatness. The place of celebration. The place of power. The place of goodness. There is a man in the Bible. His name was Methibosheth. Methibosheth was the son of Jonathan. Jonathan was the son of King Saul. King Saul was the first king of Israel. Now one day, King Saul and Jonathan, because Saul had gone against the will of God, they went to a witch. The Bible calls her the witch of Endor. And they went there to consult concerning divine direction. Because Samuel the prophet was dead and God was silent. And the Philistines were there. They were ready to fight against the children of Israel. And King Saul was desperate. So he went to a witch. And he told the witch, bring up the spirit of Samuel. That I may ask him what is going to happen. And when Samuel raised from the grave, he told Saul, tomorrow you and your son shall be with me in the grave. And so the next day they go to battle. And Saul and Jonathan, his son, they die in that battle. Now, in the midst of all that, the, the, the what do we call it? The, the king's palace is attacked. Now, upon the Methibosheth, Alikuanaka. Remember, Methibosheth is the grandson of the king. And so the maid who was taking care of Methibosheth, as she was escaping, Akiwa Mebeba Ule Mtoto, Akangushe Ule Mtoto Chini. And Meshib Bethibosheth, after falling down, his legs were broken and he became crippled. They have been misplaced from the palace. Their father, the king, is dead. The son who was to take over is also dead. And now this maid goes with this child, Ambaya Likwa Nafakuishi, in the palace. And they go to a place called Lodiba. Tell your neighbor Lodiba. I know you have heard Bishop Doctor talking about Lodiba. Lodiba means a place of being forgotten. A place of being isolated. A place where you are not remembered. It is a place that stinks. So, Nikama Uchukwe Mtoto wa Ruto, our president, the son, Ambaya Mezoya Maisha, Yakuka in the palace. You take that boy, Umpeleke kibera. Kwa ile nyumba ambayo kukinyesha inaingiza maji juu na inaingizia chini. Can you see that picture now? So this is the grandson of a king. Born in a palace. But now living in Lodiba. A place of being forgotten. The Bible says Methibosheth thought himself as a dog. In fact, he described himself as a dog. Alikuwa na jiona, yeye ni umbwa. Kwa sababu alikuwa mejitharao. Na yale maisha alikuwa nafanya nini? Anaishi. So, Saul is dead. Jonathan, the father of Methibosheth, is dead. But Jonathan had a covenant with David who took over kingship after the death of King Saul. And one day, David said, Is there still anybody of the house of Saul remaining? That I may show him favor for Jonathan's sake. Praise the name of God. And one man called Ziba appeared and said, There is one boy. His name is Methibosheth. He is crippled in his legs and he is living in Lodiba. Mfalme alitumana Lodiba. 
mahali ambapo kijana alikuwa amesahaulika alikuwa anajiona kama umbwa alichukuliwa akabebwa na magari makubwa akaletwa mbele ya mfalme akakalishwa mbele ya mfalme akaambiwa na mfalme leo wewe ambaye ulikuwa unajiona as a dog i am giving you half of the property pigia bwana yesu mkofu favor when favor locates you favor locates you it takes you from a place of being a nobody it makes you sit with kings it makes you dine with princes praise the name of god inua mikono yako juu haijalishi mahali ulipo haijalishi maisha unayoishi haijalishi mapato yako yanakaa vipi haijalishi ulitupwa wapi na watu wenu haijalishi ni nani alikulaani haijalishi ni makosa gani yaliyofanywa na wale walikuja mbele yako na ukajipata unaishi maisha ya uchungu maisha ya dharao maisha ya kujichukia maisha ya kukosa na kulala njaa kufungiwa nyumba na kudhalilishwa Mungu wa Methibosheth ambaye alimuonekania kupitia kibali akamtoa Lodiba akamleta kwa hekalu akampatia utajiri na akutendee hivyo siku ya leo 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 I'm praying for somebody today. You are in Lodiba of some sort. Lodiba of debt. I want you to close your eyes. I want you to look at that Lodiba. Angalia. Your peers, your friends, your age mates, your brothers, they are doing well. But you are the black sheep in the family. You are the one who always has nothing. Your friends are buying new cars, building new houses, running multi-million businesses. But you are the one who actually has nothing. You are the one who always goes through shame in the family. You are the one who is always poor and begging. You are the one who always is denied and rejected. Your life is the worst. You have nothing to show for your life. You are in Lodiba. I am praying for you if you believe. I am praying for you if you are taking this word. I am praying for you if you catch this anointing. That the anointing that takes people from Lodiba and brings them into the presence of the king. That anointing to locate you now. 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 To remove you from that shame. From that poverty. From that debt. From that dryness. From that emptiness. From that scarcity. From that small life. May that anointing of favor lift you up right now. Change your story right now. Make you a sign and a wonder. Make you a testimony. In Jesus mighty name we do pray. Hallelujah. Praise the name of God. Now allow me briefly in 20 minutes to talk about hindrances of favor. Hindrances vizuizi ambazo zinazuianga kibali cha Bwana. Hindrances of favor. Hindrances of favor. Thank you so much those who are watching online. We really really appreciate you in the name of Jesus. hindrances of favor Ambia jirani kibali kinaweza zuiwa Yeah tell your neighbor kibali kinaweza zuiwa Bwana Yesu asifiwe It is the will of God for you to walk in favor But that favor can be hindered and it may never get to you Ambia jirani inaweza zuiwa isikufikie na isikufanyie kazi Bwana Yesu asifiwe praise the name of god you yourself can become the hindrance of favor people can become the hindrance of favor environment can become the hindrance of favor now what are the hindrances of favor number 1 number 1 number 1 when you have not released yourself from your past when you have not released yourself from your past wakati haujamalizana 
na jana yako. Praise the name of God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. If your past is still alive, if your past, Pastor Teresa, it is still alive, if you still have a connection with your past, if you are still tied to your past, if you are still held up in your past, you are still juggling between your past and your present, then favor will be hard to come. Can I go deeper? Can I explain some few things? Everybody here has a past. Kila moja wetu hapa, kuna mahali alito, alitoka. Now, part of your past is friends. Tell your neighbor friends. There are many types of friends, and Bishop has taught here, there are seasonal friends. There are friends who come just once to solve a problem and then they go. There are friends who are covenant friends who stay with you. There are friends who are bridges. Kazi yao tu ni kukufukisha ngambo hii ingine waendele. Buwana asifiwe. There are friends who are connectors. That friend was to connect you to another friend. And then that friend disappears. And then you continue with this other friend. Praise the name of God. So, if you still are connected to certain friends of the past, whose season and assignment in your life ended, favor will not come. Buwana asifiwe. Praise the name of God. There are friends I know. Ambao wengine tulikuwa na watoto. Some we studied in primary. Others in high school. By the grace of God I managed to go to university. Some we studied together in university. But I came to understand this. That not every friend is meant to be in your life forever. Hello. How many agree with me on that statement? Not every friend is meant to be in your life forever. And there are certain friends you hold on to. There are certain friends you keep. There are certain friends you work with. You even do business with. And those friends become the greatest hindrance. The greatest opposition. They become the greatest barrier to the favor of God in your life. Am I talking to somebody? That is why you need to sit down and ask yourself, who were my friends when I was a small child? Who were my friends when I went to primary, to secondary, maybe to college? Who were my friends when I just came fresh in Nairobi? Who are those friends? And then ask yourself, who of those friends am I still holding on to? And I'm supposed to have released them long time ago. Uh-huh. Am I helping somebody? Kuna watu wea hata wewe unajuanga. So long as niko na huyu, as long as this person is in my life, I can never move forward. And you even see signs. There was a breakthrough coming your way. There was something you were following up, a contract, a job, whatever. And then this friend out of nowhere calls you, visits you, comes and spends time with you, and then that contract disappeared. Have you ever experienced such a thing? Bwana asifiwe. Usha yaona kitu kama hiyo. Devi, you are okay. You are moving forward. Business was going on well. And then out of nowhere, this friend calls you. Ah, mambo. Tumepoteano. Tukutane, tukunyue kachai. And you're like, ha, utu ligrona yeye. Uni beste yangu wa kitambo. And then you go and meet. And then after that, you begin to realize doors are closing. Things are going away. Destiny helpers are disappearing. You are beginning to get frustrated. And you begin to wonder, why, why, what is wrong? It is because you have invited your past to your present and to your future. Praise the name of God. When Abraham carried Lot, akabebana na Lot, na Lot alikuwa ni damu yake, he was his nephew, the son of his father's brother. When he carried Lot with him, favor disappeared. They began to strife one with another. Wakaanza kufutana. Wakaanza kusumbuana. Bingu ikafungika. Mungu haongei. Abraham is wondering, where is this God who was talking to me? Where is this God who was guiding me? Where is this God who was fighting battles for me? I was increasing. I was growing. I was enlarging. But now God is silent. God appears and tells Abraham, you cannot continue with this man. Choose. If he goes left, you go right. If he goes right, you go left. The moment Abraham and Lot parted and separated ways, 
The next verse says, And God appeared to Abraham and said to Abraham, Lift up your eyes. As far as your eyes can see, that shall I give you. Kuna sauti ya mungu hautaskia adi wachilia watu wengine. Bwana isu asifiwe. Sometimes it may be hard. Sometimes it may be difficult. Because you don't even want to offend these people. But can I tell you the truth? Sometimes it requires offending them. Going wrong ways so that God can do something for you. Bwana asifiwe. Can I go deeper? And this I have learned from Bishop. Not every battle is demonic. Ambia jirani, siyo kila vita ni shetani. Do you know, the more you pray, and the more you tell God, show me your way, align me to your will. This is what God does. Sometimes God introduces battle. Wana sifiwe. Have you ever noticed, the more you are praying, the more you are fasting, the more you are sowing seed, the more you are coming closer to God, that is when you begin to notice certain people begin to fight you for no reason. Have you ever noticed that thing? People in your family, they begin to rise against you. People in your neighborhood, they begin to rise against you. Friends who are loyal, they all of a sudden turn against you. And then you begin to say, I bind you, Satan. That sometimes is not Satan. It is God. Because sometimes God has to separate you so that he can unleash the miracle in your life. You can be fought even in a church, Sami. You can be fought. Because sometimes you may be in a church where your time of being there is over. Hallelujah. Bwana sifiwe. Wakati wakukama alipale uliisha, you are taken there for a season, for a moment. That man of God was good, but that man was Moses. The Bible says Moses died and Joshua took over and took them to the land of promise. Bwana sifiwe. So you may still be with Moses, but the assignment of Moses is over. Now you need to connect to Joshua so that Joshua can usher you into the land of promise. Am I talking to somebody? Am I making sense today? So sometimes the more you are praying, the more you are calling on God, the more you are fasting, the more you are telling God, show me the way, align me to your will, give me divine direction. That is where God begins to introduce battles. You discover your best friend, the one who knew all your secrets, turns against you. You become bad enemies. They walk out. And after they walk out, that is when now God appears. Bwana sifiwe. It may be a season of pain. It may be a few days or weeks or even months of dryness, hardship and battle. But after God is done dealing with your past, removing your past, erasing your past, then now he introduces himself and tells you, now come, let me show you your destiny. Bwana isu sifiwe. So analyze that battle you are going through. Analyze that trial you are going through. Ask yourself, could it be that God is cleansing my past? Could it be that God is purifying my past? If there are certain people who walked out of your life for nothing, and you know you are not on the wrong, and you are prayed to God to return,